everyone. I'm Gary Knoll. I'd like to once again invite you to see if we can learn something in our classroom on the air. The topic today, inflammation. Why is that important? Because cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, arthritis, bursitis, almost any condition you can imagine has inflammation as one of its causative factors. So when we take a look at how we can slow down the aging process, prevent probably 90% of all the illnesses we're impacted with, at least those are not hereditary, and regain years onto our life, actually reverse the aging process. And we've proven this in clinical studies that I've done five, just about to do the sixth. The underlying issue is changing your lifestyle and behavior. Both of those can contribute to inflammation. Now, inflammation is serious. Now, I'm sure you've found inflammation at some point. Maybe you're a runner and you find it in your ankles, your hamstring, uh, maybe uh, Achilles tendon inflammation. Maybe you might have some arthritis in your elbows or ankles or feet, or maybe lower back pain. Now, that pain is there to let you know that you have a problem. And one of the reasons you have pain is because it becomes inflamed. That's necessary to let us know there's a problem. But chronic pain is very serious. That means we have chronic inflammation. It doesn't turn off. In time, that will exhaust your immune system. In fact, it'll cause your body to work against itself with autoimmune conditions. So what is the simple, easy Occam's razor notion of use the razor, cut off everything that's not necessary, which means metaphorically, that the most logical and reasonable and accurate answer is surely the one that is simplest. Never confuse the complexity of a problem with the simplicity of its solution. Let's go to the problem, our diet first. Caffeine and all the soft drinks and coffee, highly acidic, not good, causes inflammation. A lot of Animal protein, far more animal protein than what you need. If you were only going to eat protein from animals to get the amino acids, generally one forkful will be adequate for that meal. But that's not how much we eat. We overeat. We're overfed and undernourished. That causes inflammation. It also puts cancer-causing agents in our body. Also, refined carbohydrates, your breads, your toast, muffins, french fries, bagels, Potato chips, those have a chemical called acrylamides. Anything that's browned is harmful, causes inflammation. Refined carbohydrates, artificial sweeteners, really bad, causing inflammation. And then your cell phone up against your, wherever you put it, your head, where you carry it, uh, in your pocket, that whole area of the body is being affected by electromagnetic pulses there's over 10,000 studies currently in the scientific literature showing you the danger of these electromagnetic pulses. Our cell phones are not the only cause of concern. You also have your computers. Now, I'm standing far away or sitting far away. I'm, I'm about uh, six feet from my camera. But if I were closer, because of all these monitors I have, my body would be pulsing with electromagnetic pulses, and that would be dangerous. And you can buy a simple and expensive little monitor so you know if any device, your laptop, your cell phone, uh, your monitor is throwing off electromagnetic pulses so you can stay in the no, no danger zone. But the way we use them, including a lot of teenagers and college students sleeping with their laptop right beside them, their cell phone on under their pillow, extremely dangerous. Also, we have to look at the pollution in our air. We don't, but it's there. Getting rid of molds in our house, especially black molds in our basement or house under cabinets. Just take some time and look for it. You'll generally find it. You there, Go online. There are ways you can get rid of the mold in a safe manner. But you have to have a protective mask, gloves, so you don't breathe in what you're scraping because it will go into the air. Get yourself a good uh, get you good so uh, an indoor air anti-pollution device, an air an air purification system. Pollution in your water, drink filtered water and reverse osmosis water is the safest to drink. 
Also, then, once you've looked at your diet, you're eating a healthy plant-based diet. The green juices do a lot to turn off inflammation. Celery, cucumber, and lemon is a great juice to detoxify. You can add in some ginger as well. But so too are citrus juices, especially lemon, lime, grapefruit, and oranges, all beneficial. They have a lot of what is called ORAC, and that's a measurement of the antioxidants. The antioxidants trap the free radicals, which cause the inflammation. So when you have yourself a fresh glass of fresh orange juice in the morning or grapefruit juice, you're really, you're limiting a lot of the free radicals you'd otherwise be over exposed to and causing damage to your cells. Remember, the average cell in the body, and let's just say you have 30 trillion cells, is damaged about 10,000 times per day, per day. So the more antioxidants you take, vitamin C, vitamin E, tocotrienols, coenzyme Q10, zinc, alpha lipoic acid are just some. You trap the free radicals, neutralize them. You could probably trap half the free radicals you would otherwise be exposed to in a given day just by that alone. The juicing also helps. And then also fresh sprouts, microgreens, fresh salads, uh, sprouted nuts, walnuts, almonds, pistachios, cashews. Get them raw, get them organic, get them sprouted. Have the sprouted nut butters. That also helps. The omega-3 fatty acid turns off inflammation in the heart and the brain. Simple things, not complicated. But at least when you get that out of your system, you're going to find yourself slowing down the aging process, reversing the disease process. And then finally is behavior. Give yourself 20 minutes a day to do mindful meditation. Try yoga, tai chi, other things that bring your sense of anxiety down. Stop reacting to everything personally. Look at it as just information. Do what your grandmother or mother told you. Before you react and act and say something, get angry and rageful, count to 10 slowly, breathe deeply. Your breathing deeply will relax you bringing down your cortisol, epinephrine, norepinephrine, catecholamine, blood sugar, and adrenaline levels. When those are chronically elevated because you're chronically stressed, you're chronically killing yourself. You're aging yourself prematurely because those are really pro-inflammatory. So help your brain, help your body, help your heart. Coenzyme Q10, vitamin E, calcium magnesium, SAMI, and acetylcysteine. These also help you. Simple, isn't it? Not complicated, not expensive, but it can help you live a longer life, prevent a lot of illnesses. And remember, every choice you make is cumulative. Every positive choice, every negative choice. One cigarette will not cause lung cancer. One hamburger will not cause a heart attack by clogging your arteries. One glass of alcohol will not cause cirrhosis of the liver, cause your liver to fail. But now add on to those and it will inevitably do exactly that and prematurely age you. So just some suggestions. Also a suggestion, go every day at noon if you have the time to prn.live and download or listen live to my show. It has a lot of information. Or you can go to garynall.com and get even more information on how to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. Thank you for watching. If you find this of interest, share it with others, but at least apply it. See if it works for you. Have a nice day. Are you tired of closed-minded programming? Well, look no further than PRN.Live, the home for progressive voices.